Hey guys, it's Karina and thanks so much for joining me for this video. I've had a lot of requests to do a cooking video and today I have been lucky enough to do that. So Blue Apron has sponsored this video and I'm going to show you step by step how I made these delicious meals. This smells so good. I can't even believe I cooked this. So I was so excited to eat my dinner that I just paused for a second and ate and it was so delicious. Anyhow, so let me tell you about Blue Apron. Basically this is a um, delivery service where you select recipes from the website and then they send you all of the ingredients that you need, the exact portions that you need, and they send you a recipe card showing you how to make the items. So the blue apron is a symbol of chefs in training. So the whole idea here is that you are basically learning to become a chef and there is nothing that could be more simple, more convenient than them literally shipping all of the ingredients to you in this adorable big box. So in this video I'm going to unbox the ingredients and then take you through the process of making this delicious meal that I just enjoyed and basically just show you how cool all of these um, little recipes are. And I am someone who loves to cook but I don't really follow recipes. I just kind of make really simple things. So this was my first time following a professional chef's recipe. It was really easy. They broke down every single step of the way, which I really appreciated. And I already said it, but I can't even believe that I just cooked that. It was so delicious and um, I also wanna let y'all know that we have a special offer for you guys from Blue Apron. So the first 50 people to go to the website and place an order will get three of their meals free. So I hope you'll try it. I hope you'll let me know if you like the sounds in this video and I will see you guys again at the end of the video. So I just wanted to spend a second showing you the box. So one of the wonderful things is that they really are environmentally and uh, health concerned. So meat with no added hormones or antibiotics, sustainable seafood recommended by Seafood Watch, and we support farms with regenerative agricultural processes. And there's even this little section down here. Learn how to recycle at home or let us take care of it for free. So I actually haven't checked that out yet because I do recycle at home already. And opening it up, we see that there are the three cards that show you your three meals. So, in this particular box, I ordered this creamy shrimp spaghetti with broccoli and Meyer lemon, which is what I'm going to make in this video. And there's also a warm cauliflower and kale salad with soft boiled eggs and some fancy sauce I can't even pronounce. 
and sun choke and egg noodle casserole with kale and mornay sauce. So it shows you uh, little basic descriptions of the items and a wine pairing, such a cool little perk. And then at the bottom it shows you the ingredients that come with it. Then you turn it over and you have your step-by-step -step instructions showing you how to make your meal. So this really is the perfect uh, at-home chef training, so to speak. And it's so cool because all of your items are then contained in this refrigerated packaging. So let's take a look at that. So it's definitely helpful that they um, package it this way so that if it arrives and you're not home, your food will stay fresh. And there are some freezer packs in the bottom that we'll get to. these items out. I'm just going to set them aside. So then here is something that I actually introduced to for the first time. It's always fun to discover a new food. So these are sun chokes. And it actually says on the little ingredient sheet here. Sun chokes are actually the underground stems of a sunflower relative. And then in the description of the meal, this is the sun choke and egg noodle casserole. The secret to a crowd-pleasing casserole is its layers of complementary flavors. For tonight's cool weather version, we're sauteing earthy kale with sun chokes bringing out their sweetness and subtle, nutty flavor. So I'm excited to try these. Like I said, I'm always excited to be introduced to new foods, keeping things fun and exciting. So continuing here, Here are the knickknacks that go with the shrimp spaghetti. So that's what I'm making tonight. Egg 
egg noodles. <laughs> so continuing to remove my items, here's the broccoli that goes with tonight's recipe. Then we have Fontina cheese, fancy delicious cheese, and this super cool really cool purple, almost just light pink cauliflower. So many items. I will actually show all the items laid out here in the Eggs. And then I wanted to show you that there are these cool ice packs. Frozen solid. To keep the wild gulf shrimp. to reach in the box now, so let me lay them all out so that you can see them all in one place. The first meal is this creamy shrimp spaghetti with broccoli and Meyer lemon. Tonight's seafood recipe is as quick and easy as it is tasty. Plump shrimp marry perfectly with spaghetti and aromatics like garlic, chili flakes, and the fruity zest of Meyer lemon. And to give the dish its deliciously creamy finish, we're stirring in a bit of quark, a fresh cheese, just before serving, lightly coating the spaghetti, shrimp, and seasoned broccoli. So then, down at the bottom, it shows me my ingredients, and here is how the ingredients all look. So, I have my broccoli. Here are the shrimp, so sustainably sourced wild gulf shrimp. And then here are the little knickknacks. So these are the items that were in the little bag that accompanies it. So here's the quark, a European style fresh cheese. This is another new ingredient that I'm learning about. Then it actually includes the exact amount of butter that you need and a little packet of crushed red pepper flakes. Then there's also the bag of spaghetti. And the Meyer lemon. There is a garlic included, and there are just a couple of cloves used in the various items. And then each meal also comes with a little nutrition fact booklet. So, you can actually see the exact nutrition facts and all the ingredients for all of the meals that you're cooking. Then on to the warm kale and cauliflower salad. There's the kale, of course, the cauliflower, and then the little knickknacks. So there's a little packet of all-purpose flour, a little packet of casserole spice blend, then the butter you need, a little thing of parsley, and your shallot and lemon. I 
again your nutrition back so you can see exactly what you're eating. And that brings us to the third meal, sunchoke and egg noodle casserole with kale and mornay sauce. So the kale, of course, the egg noodles, and then little additional ingredients. Some panko breadcrumbs, which been wanting to do that <laughs> all day long, basically. An adorable little package of capers. the sun chokes that I showed you earlier, and then it even comes with the fontina cheese and milk that you need for the recipe. So as if it wasn't cool enough that they send you the exact ingredients you need and the exact amounts you need, they also give you step-by-step -step instructions for each and every part of this recipe. So I'm going to start with the prepping rinsing and chopping my broccoli, chopping some garlic, and I know this is going to make some really neat sounds, so I'm going to try and capture some of those for you as well. vegetable, which means it's one of the most nutrient-dense veggies. I'm just going to shake it off a little bit and then pat it off in a paper towel. off the stems, but I do plan to throw them into the pasta also. Just trying to make them cute and bite-sized.
looking awfully cute. You can maybe shorten these too. So I have set my bowl of water aside and have my favorite little wooden bowl here to place my broccolis in. Oops. That one said, don't eat me, don't eat me. And getting my next bit of broccoli chopped up here. Okay, broccoli's overboard, so we'll just leave a couple of those on the cutting board. So now for garlic, and a little trick I want to show you. So, first of all, just kind of moving through the garlic paper. This particular recipe calls for three cloves of garlic. So here we go, got our three cloves where I can set aside the rest of the garlic for the other recipes. Now, once you've removed most of the paper from the garlic, most of the papery outer covering anyway, So then, once you get your garlic cloves to this point, you can lay them down in whichever way they're least likely to roll over. And then you actually take your knife, and a big broad knife is best, and just squish it. So what this does is it makes it really easy to peel off the remaining little bit of paper there. Easy peasy. Great little garlic trick. And it makes your fingers smell really good, so that's a plus. Peeling, not really paper. And there you have it. Three garlic cloves. So what you're hearing in the background is my water starting to boil. So what you're hearing in the background is my water starting to boil. Cool, so once our cloves are like this, what I found is the best way to mince garlic is to kind of hold the knife down and make sure there's nothing underneath your cutting board to prevent it from lying flat. Just 
real chefs, you see them do this, they do it really fast. Just keep mincing, just keep mincing. It sounds like my water is almost ready. I need to add my spaghetti. So I actually had to look up how you zest a lemon without a lemon zester. And let me show you what I discovered. So the zest is just the very thin top layer. And once you get to the pith or the white part here, uh, that's where you start to get some bitter flavor. So what I've been doing, I'm just kind of taking my knife and really gently, really slowly. I know I'm cutting towards myself, but I'm cutting so gently and slowly that I'm not nervous of cutting myself. So just really trying to get the very top layer. And then I'm actually even turning it over and just kind of peeling the zest off with the back of the knife. So then all you have is the very thin little top here. Voila, some zest. I'm gonna take my couple little pieces and mince them up a little bit. Sometimes being a home chef 
is all about improvising. Okay, cool. So delicious. I wish you could be here right now smelling this with me. So as you can hear, my water is almost boiled. Getting ready to add my spaghetti. Must get ready to add the spaghetti. Must get ready to add the spaghetti.
Then it says I can add as much red pepper as I want, depending on how spicy I want my meal. So, okay. The amount. feeling spicy tonight, so I added almost the whole package in. I can always add more later if I want. Then it calls for an addition of half a cup of water. spaghetti and I think it's just about al dente or slightly firm I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer and let you enjoy these awesome sounds. So while these things are finishing up, I just want to quickly tell you about my frying pan. So this is called The Rock, and what's really neat is that it is an all-natural, non-stick pan, but it does not have any Teflon on it. So a lot of the non-stick pans, uh, the really smooth ones that aren't sticky when we cook in them, are coated with something called 
Teflon, and they found Teflon to be uh, both a toxin to the body and to the environment. So I really try to avoid using Teflon. I love this pan. Uh, it's called The Rock, and I think that's hilarious. Uh, but I really love this pan. It actually really is very non-stick, which is great. And it's non-toxic, which, what could be better than that? You can see that the water has just about boiled off the broccoli. Over here, I'm patting my shrimp just to make sure they're dry before I put them in the pan.
One thing I love about cooking shrimp is that it's really easy to tell when they're done. So you can see they're starting to get plump and kind of pink and opaque, which means they're no longer see-through. So, just a little bit longer for these shrimpies. And then we'll be ready to complete the sauce. So... So then the sauce will contain half a cup of the water that I saved from boiling the pasta. So that's what's in this little cup here. Then the juice from half of my Meyer lemon. And then the other two halves uh, can be added after the meal is complete. There's my lemon juice. And then there is my lemon zest, which I so zestfully zested on my own. And I will grab the last couple of knickknacks because they're about to go in too. So, here is the quark, this cool fancy cheese, and the little tiny adorable butter. So cute.
I really want to thank Blue Apron for sponsoring this video and giving me a chance to try out this really wonderful service and to share it with all of you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your feedback or ideas for future videos, topic requests, etc. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.